You gonna help me with this lesson? Huh? Champ! Champ! Look here! You gonna help me? Huh? You are! You're shaking your head up and down that you're gonna help me! Good boy! The bo Hi boys and girls! I'm going to do a multiplication lesson. I'm going to teach you how to multiply numbers. And I'm going to be using these yummy fruits and vegetables. Like we have over here, red onions, garlic, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, apples, zucchini, bell peppers, yams, uh, red spuds, and this is a Brussels sprout stock. Hey, look at this, boys and girls. How many rows do we have? Remember, we start here at the left. Okay, let's count the rows. Here's one row, and here's our second row. So how many rows do we have? One, two. And how many bell peppers do we have in each row? Let's count. One in this row, and one in this row. Two rows times one equals how many? Yes, two. Let's count the addition to see if we're correct. One, two. Two times one equals two. Here's the left-hand side. So here's row one, and here's row two. And how many avocados are in each row? Let's count. One, two. So you have two rows, and how many avocados in each row? One, two. Two times two equals how many avocados, boys and girls? Four. And we can check this out by addition. Let's count. Let's count to see if it equals four. One, two, three, four. It did. Two times two equals four. Now, I want you to count how many rows there are. How many rows do you see? Okay, look at this. This is one row right here. And this is, right here, this is the second row. How many rows do we have? One row here. And the second row right here. Now, let's count how many are in the first row. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Let's count how many are in the second row. Here's the second row. One, two, three, four. How many apples do we have? The easiest way to figure this out is by multiplication. Two rows times four apples in each row equals eight. And if you count it out by addition, you would come up with what number? Eight. Let's see if we are correct. Let's count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight apples. Boys and girls, how many rows of garlic do we have? Remember, start this side. Here's the first row, and here's the second row. The next thing you do is how many pieces of garlic are in each row? So let's count the first row. One, two, three. There's three garlics in this row. Let's look at the second row. How many garlics are in the second row? One, two, three. Two rows times three pieces of garlic equals how many garlics in all? Yes, yeah, six. And we can check our answer by addition. Let's count to see if two times three is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is. How many rows do we have here? Yes, two rows. And. How many cucumbers do we have in each row? Yes, three. Two times three equals what, boys and girls? Six. And remember, you can always add them up to check your answer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have some yams, some yummy yams. Let's start from the left. Always start from the left. We're gonna count how many rows. One row, two rows. Now, let's count how many yams are in each row. 
We're going to count how many yams are in each row. One, two, three, four yams in the first row. One, two, three, four yams in the second row. So two times four equals, yes, eight. And we're going to check our answer by addition. We're going to add these all up to see if two times four is eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two times four equals eight. How many rows do you see here, boys and girls? Four, yes. One, two, three, four. Four rows. And how many apples in each row? One, two. Four times two equals eight. Go ahead, count how many rows we have. Now count how many in each row. Two rows and five cabbages in each row. Two times five equals how many? Ten. Let's take a closer look at these Brussels sprouts. See how it looks like a little tiny cabbage? These are good for you to eat, boys and girls. Two times five equals ten. Here are zucchini. Count from the left. One row, and here's our second row. The next thing you do is count how many in each row. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. That's the first row. Let's go to the second row. One, two, three, four, five. Two times five equals how many, boys and girls? Ten. Is that what you came up with? Well, let's check it. You can check multiplication by addition. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Does 2 times 5 equal 10? Yes, it does. Boys and girls, these are little cherry tomatoes. Remember I told you, you have to count how many rows there are first. If you want to use your finger to point on your screen, on your computer, on your, your cell phone, your cell phone or whatever, go ahead and point and figure out how many rows you have. Did you come up with five rows? Yes, there are five rows. Now count how many little red tomatoes are in each row. Just count the first row. There are three. So five rows times three little red tomatoes in each row equals 15, yes. Now, if you want to check your answer by addition, go right ahead right now, boys and girls, and use your finger and count each little tomato. But addition is the longer way. If you learn your multiplication equations, you can figure this out really fast. Like five times three equals 15, instead of adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. See how long that took compared to five times three equals 15? Okay, boys and girls, I made it a little harder. And I'm so proud of you though. If you are trying, you are getting smarter every minute that you are doing this math lesson with me. I'm gonna walk you step by step through this. Count how many rows there are. Count the rows. Now I want you to count how many little red tomatoes are in each row. So let me ask, ask you those questions again. How many rows are there? Did you count five? 
Yes. Good. How many tomatoes did you count in each row? Did you count four? Good, four, yes. So five times four equals how many tomatoes? 20, yes. Now if you wanna count each one, counting by ones, addition to check your answer, go ahead. Addition is a slower way to find out your answer for the equation five times four. Okay, go ahead and count them. And did you come up with 20? Five times four equals 20, yes. Good luck by yourself. Boys and girls, this time I'm gonna let you do this by yourself. First, you're gonna count how many rows. Look at the rows, count how many rows there are. Now I want you to count how many potatoes are in each row. So the number of rows times how many potatoes in each row equals the total amount of potatoes. So did you get three rows times four potatoes equals 12? Good luck. Bye! You are smarter!